Hi, this is Trendencias and I am Carlos Marrero reporting on the exciting world of fashion, beauty, and entertainment. I have been wanting to do this show for so long and I'm here with one of my best friends and owner of Posh Models Agency in South Florida, New York, and Asia, Tyler Molinari. Tyler, welcome back. Thank you so much. It's great to be back. I am so happy because I've been wanting to do this show, but I wanted to do it with the right person. And it's the top models of all time. I mean, tell me about it. I was very excited. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the people coming up were in my generation, so I'm very yeah. excited. These women are not only beautiful, they are mega rich. <laughs> Coins, coins, coins. Uh, gorgeous and the most recognizable faces of all time. Um, so we have people from the 80s to the 90s through the 2000s. And are you ready to get started? I am, absolutely. All right, let's go. There was a woman in Somalia. We're talking about the gorgeous Iman. Absolutely. She's, she's just so regal. And uh, you know, married to David Bowie, that marriage was just like match made in heaven. Elegance, polished, elegant, beautiful, classic. She's everything. You know, it, it's almost like you kind, this is just me, but you kind of want your models to be a little cray cray. Like we'll get to Naomi Campbell in a minute. <laughs> but, or all the other ones that get married to crazy people and stuff like that. But Iman just never gave you this much to talk bad about her. You know, she makes coins left and right. She made the first ethnic mm -hmm. um, cosmetic line, making thousands and millions of dollars. Do you know she was in Out of Africa, the movie? I didn't know I that. I didn't know that. <laughs> anyway, she's an accomplished actor. She was in Star Trek also. So, we love you, Iman. So, we know the song, Betty Davis Eyes, but we can talk about Twiggy Eyes, because she had the biggest, biggest eyes. Known for that, of course. We love Twiggy, don't Absolutely. we? Oh my God. I was born in 66, yes I'm old, but she was, that was her breakout year in the 60s. A little bit before my time, just a little bit, but obviously <laughs> very well known and still came back around later because later with the, the industry, people said they want that Twiggy look. She was even in Absolutely Fabulous, wasn't she? wasn't she? I think so. Yeah, they brought her back. But you know what I love about Twiggy is that in the 60s, branding started with her when it comes to models because they started making dolls they started making twiggy dresses i love i love twiggy i love the 60s and the boots are delicious number eight uptown girl all american christy brinkley that is classic that is all classic american all Amer yes <laughs> she must marry to billy, billy joel billy joel yeah well, uptown girl i i love her because She's in her 60s. Still looks amazing, still on TV, still promoting brands. She looks younger than you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not kidding. I, she, she just looks so incredible. And she doesn't, even if she's had work done, she doesn't look like, ooh, do you know what I mean? She looks natural. And I think what I love about her is that she's always smiling. smiling. I was just about to say that was. So always smiling. She's the friendliest girl. Love her. Okay, so we go from all American blonde beauty to Germany, all Germany blonde beauty. Blonde Claudia Schiffer, 5'11, gorgeous blue eyes, hair for days, cheeks, oh, cheeks. cheekbones, and booty because she, she actually wasn't she one of the first guest models? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, that campaign, she made guests, she actually made guests be guests, I believe, you know? Um, I think she. Did she get Revlon for like six years? Ten years, six million. What, ten six years. millions a year for ten years. So a year. <laughs> exactly. And she even does hair products now. She's, she's, yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> These are not hers. <laughs> but I just love her. She's just a bombshell. Absolutely gorgeous. Love her too. But she's very Bridget Berto. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Love her. So my director is from Brazil and he has a little crush on Adriana Lima. Oh, okay, of course. <laughs> I, I call her like, I think she's, she gives me like elevated Catherine Zeta Jones. She's actually one of the most, the most valuable, I heard, the most valuable Victoria's Secret angel ever. She's probably one of the most identifiable with the brand. Yeah, it's just those blue eyes and her accent. Ridiculous, I saw her in TV the other day as a host for a show and her accent is just ridiculous. Now, she's pretty hot. Go Brazil. In fashion, one day you're in, and the next day, 
the out. Heidi Klum, <laughs> my favorites. I love me some Heidi Klum. I mean, she is another Victoria's Secret angel, probably just as famous as Adriana Lima. She does everything. I mean, <laughs> could she make any more money? <laughs> Executive producer, she came up with the idea of Project Runway. She's a judge in Project Runway. And then now Project Runway is like Project Runway Germany, Project Runway Japan, Project Runway India, Project Runway Kaching, 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 dollars, dollars, dollars. And she can, she can almost sing too. Sing? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Well, she did a duet with her ex-husband. Oh, Seal? What's funny is that she's aged and she hasn't. What is her secret? I don't know. Whatever it is, I want it. Now, I know, because I work with you, that you're a Halloween freak. Totally. So, we must live for Heidi Klum, because her Halloween costumes are ridiculous. Yes. Who can forget? Jessica Rabbit, actually, from Roger Rabbit, the movie. And then she aged herself into, like, an old lady. It's almost fun, and now everyone's anticipating what she's gonna do next. Yeah, she created a brand about Halloween. Yeah. In fashion, one day she's in, and then she's in. She's never. And then out. she's in, and then she's in, and then she's in, and then she's in. <laughs> okay, Tyler, this Canadian beauty could have been my number one, and to some people it is the number one. But I'm talking about Linda Evangelista. Oh, chameleon. A uh, total chameleon. I mean. Who can forget Too Funky, that video with George Michael? Do you remember that Amazing. white, that wig that was going like out to the guts? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she looks up. I, I think she's one of the most influentials ever. It was the epitome of a fashion model, 80s, 90s, you know, not necessarily classic, but just. But she, was, she, she didn't give you Christy Brinkley perfect. Correct. Or like Claudia Schiffer. Yeah. She had something, like it was something with the nose and the mouth and the teeth. But ridiculous. Cracked. The girl from Ipanema, Giselle Bingen. I'm only gonna say the last name once because it's all Giselle. I mean, it's called Giselle Horsewalk. Who can Best walks ever. Ever. Again, not like necessarily because she has kind of a nose. Like for like, she doesn't have like the dainty nose, and she didn't care, but she has more personality than all of these girls together. Gorgeous, and the husband, I mean, mm -hmm. Howard Hubble, Tom Brady. I have a little gossip. Are you ready for this one? I'm ready. So, she married down when it comes to coins. She was making more money than him. And he had a baby mama, a mama baby baby mama, the, another girl was pregnant with his baby and Giselle still married him. Are you kidding? Gagging! And she still married him. He's really hot though. So, okay, you're forgiven. But that catwalk is ridiculous and she just can't do no wrong. Top. We're coming down to the top and we have a British Black Panther. A little bit crazy, That's and I'm okay. gonna give you That's one okay. word, and you can just guess I it. I already know it. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one word: Blackberry. Of course. Who? Naomi Campbell. Of course. Me too. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get crazy on a model, if you want to get beauty crazy, and housewives, Ru RuPaul, Drag Race, all blended into a blender, and it comes out. She's everything. Black beauty. And you know what? The, one of the things, we talk about Naomi, we talk about Claudia Schiffer, and they have moved into other product lines and stuff like that. But Naomi, Miss Thing is still She's modeling. Still walking. She's still yeah. walk. She walked for Versace. So let's talk about crazy. <laughs> she threw a Blackberry to her assistant. I mean, <laughs> okay, you know, baby. <laughs> Are you defending her? Oh my God, this is why I don't work. I'm, I'm just kidding. I, it was amicable. I left here amicably. <laughs> I say allegedly, but okay, you know, we'll go. Well, but the funny thing is like, so she got sentenced to pay for the medical bills, but she had to do community service. And uh, do you know what happened? She showed up turning it out, of course. I mean, 300 thousand dollar gown Dolce & Gabbana to go clean the streets of New York. How else do you do it? Sir, the moment is here. I'm so excited. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so there's uh, the one thing that I have to say is like there are so many other ones that I couldn't include in the top 10. I can't believe we went through them that fast. I mean, there's just so many in my brain. I know. And do you know which one is the first one? I have a feeling. But... All right, so I'm just going to give you one word. 
Mall. Okay, of course. Cindy Ooh. Crawford. Cindy Crawford. <laughs> I mean, you can't. It all, I mean, she's not all American in the fact that she's a blonde and she has a really strong jawline, but she had a walk of death. She was 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, and she had the most covers of all of these girls. Let's just talk about being a businesswoman. <gasps> My God. I mean, she has her hand in cosmetics and furniture and uh, she did the Pepsi ad that they just recreated. Oh my god, I did see that. That is amazing. It looks like she has an age. It's ridiculous. Rooms to go. Rooms to go. And then she has like this, <laughs> these creams that are just supposed to make you look younger that I'm gonna buy as soon as we finish here. There you go. Cindy Crawford, you're the queen. Here's your crown. <laughs> Winner. All right, Tyler, I feel like we owe them a little mention, honorable mentions. Can you give me one that we might have forgotten? Uh, I mean, there's just so many, but let's just go with um, Carmen. Oh my God. How can you not include Still Carmen? modeling. Still she's, modeling. I don't even know how old she is, but <laughs> she's just gorgeous. The one that I for, not forgot, I just couldn't fit them all, but it's Christy Turlington. She was Christy Turlington. part of the Amazing. trifecta. Yeah, another one, Tyra Banks. Business again, boss. Yeah. yeah, total boss. You know, how much money has she made? Uh, and still making, <laughs> including the airport forehead that she has. I'm just saying. Uh, Kate Moss. Kate Moss. She was a big influencer. In well, the not big. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. She's not as tall as the other models, but still amazing, amazing brand. Talk about like businesswoman and she just made it happen made it happen and people kept trying to push her down because she was anorexic or whatever not pretty enough and but i do don't i don't want to forget our younger viewers that are gonna say like ah oh, you guys are going so old what about Gigi? What about like Kendall, Ken, Kendall Jenner? I can't even say the name, <laughs> but you know, it's a Kardashian, so I forget the names, but it starts with a K. So I don't want to forget them because they do work very, very hard. They're gorgeous. I just didn't feel like their careers have been as developed as the other ones. They're yet. still going. But I mean, they're still going. Like, and Like some of the other ones, but they're this generation. And yeah, I think we'll see a lot more out of them. Honorable mentions to them. So Tyler, I'm so excited because I was able to do this show with you. Uh, thank you and for me down memory lane and all. <laughs> oh my God. Now can we go have a drink so we can forget our <laughs> forget our troubles? Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. This is Carlos Marrero, and you're watching Trendencias. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.